You're listening to the Anything Goes podcast. My name is Morgan Richards. And my name is Anna Richards. We are the husband and wife duo in business together who plan on bringing you conversations and inspirations each and every episode. Our mission is not just to motivate and inspire you, it's to push boundaries and challenge the status quo. We aim to bring you humor, depth, differing of opinions and more. But one thing we can promise you is this is the podcast where anything goes. All right, here we go. Let's dive straight into it. Today, we're back on the Anything Goes podcast. Um, we're going to be uh, talking about something that we learnt um, probably six, seven years ago, and it's a lot to do with personalities and understanding people and, and how you can learn about what drives and motivates them. It's, it's color code personality science. Yeah, but for the purposes when did you, of. Well, for everything. Yeah. How to navigate humans essentially and it really changed look literally this is how i lead let me just say that so i do lots of the team stuff in our business and this is how i know how to lead this is how i keep cohesiveness in the team this is how i know how to motivate different people in different ways in different environments mm. this this is everything for us so so i think as well like if you're working with people you're managing a team whether you you do it at we do or whether you do it in a sporting environment or a workplace environment or whatever it is these things will help you to understand how to get the most out of people yeah but also even if you're dating someone yeah. if you're married to someone so we'll we'll explain to you our colors yeah and we are what should we do as last surprise surprise of course we are black and white like we yeah. are like polar Oppos- opposites. opposites yeah um but when okay when did you first because i remember my story when it was did the you same fir- time i think what was i don't know i because i you were still like out of no, you didn't want anything to do yeah with but it was the first one we did this with uh we did this with david well i remember i was at uh, an event in, myself back in, Perth in like 2013 around october well you went at my first event with me yeah, so you had done a, a totally different event yeah i was so, gonna say share your story okay, so, so well, i was gonna say why didn't why don't you just say the first time you did it and i'll let you know whether i was there or not you definitely <laughs> were it was 2013 my very first like personal development event with David T.S. Wood, who we just had on the podcast the other day. He is the man who taught us and introduced us to this. I course. think I was actually at that one. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't was. think you were. I was. Okay, sure. Definitely was. It's not a competition, but hey, it kind of is. <laughs> <laughs> You'll understand why it is for me when you learn what exactly. my Exactly. <laughs> and yeah, and so we did the test and it's kind of like when you do it, it's like, oh. Now, I know human design is a real big thing at the moment, which I'm absolutely loving. And we're actually going to have an amazing human design coach or, I don't know, a coach on the podcast. God's coming on. God? Yeah, human design. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> the Messiah is returning? Well, are you just freaked me out because the other... D- no, this morning downstairs, I said to Morgan, babe... There is some biblical shit going down in the world, right? There are locusts and floods. There's always. I'm freaking out. I said to Mogs, what did I say? I said, what if God comes down? Like, what if he's like, psych? I'm going back to church. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, maybe this is all real. Oh my God. Anyway, so I was like, God's coming. What? So let us dive in. We're going to go through some um, different things. So we're going to go through. Do we want to do our two last? No, go first. Do you want to go through them and maybe see if people can work out what what they are. No, we'll just say what we are. I think it's I think it, it gives it context. meat and context, okay. and you'll laugh. Everyone will laugh because they're like, "Oh my god, that's so them." So it will yeah. give them the basis of belief in what this is all about. Can I also quickly say I have been? I remember when I introduced this to two of my beautiful girlfriends in another network marketing company, Shani and Lozzie, mm. um, and I was explaining to them about how. I do it with our team and how this is such a big part of how we lead. And it blew their mind. I remember they were like, this is amazing. Um, and recently talking to some other phenomenal business women outside of my profession, I was explaining this as well. Cause I said, Oh, um, this particular man, I said, Oh, he sounds like a red. And she's like, what does that mean? And cause I, you know, in my head, I'm like, everyone knows this. And I explained it to her and I said, you know, so next time in that situation, this is how I would address that you know, situation that happened and she's like, oh my God, that would have helped so much. So yeah. it's really powerful. Even even as being married, I can literally, I know if I want to get through to Morgan, how to do it. So would you like to do yours first? Uh, no, I think in order to keep this rolling, because you're going to 
being the color code that you are, are going to try and pervert <laughs> and go off tangents. So I'm going to let you go first so you can do yours. And then, because I will be straight to the point with mine. You are. Stuff. Okay, so quickly, the color code personality is the most accurate, comprehensive, and easy to use personality test available. So I really love this. Now, I am a yellow. Okay. I'm yellow. Everyone thinks I'm red because I can be motivated and driven and Mostly all these things. Hair. But I am so innately yellow. So mm. my core motive as a yellow is fun. My natural talent, this is where people go, oh, yeah, okay, is enthusiasm and optimism. And what are you, honey? Um, so I'm a red yes. and my core motive is power uh, and natural talent is leadership vision. But I mean, look, again, it, it can be a bunch of other things, but um, red is someone who I don't have time to hear bullsh bullshit. <laughs> <It's laughs> I'm, I'm, like I'm, getting, I'm getting frustrated right now. Um, <laughs> Just again, I'm very facts, stats, figures based, uh, grounded in reality, feet, two feet on the ground. Mm -hmm. That's red. They're very, yeah, very, they're the ones that just like come in, boom, facts, stats, figures, science. Well, where is this? Why is this happening? Don't, no, no excuses, just very blunt and to the point. Yeah. Which is really their strength. Yeah. Um, okay, so Morgan is a red, I'm a yellow. The other two colors is are, I should say, blue. Blue, yeah. And yep. blue's core mo uh, motive is intimacy. So they're emotional. So blues are very emotional. They're emotion emotionally driven. Yeah. We, you know a blue. So to give you an example, so reds tend to eat blues alive. Because we do not have any time to deal with emotional people. Literally. <laughs> and, and, the, and, 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 and yellows don't know what's going on because they're just too busy. They're like, what? <laughs> and I'm going to give you some really powerful real life examples of how this can make manifest in your job, in your relationship, if you're building a business, in your team, yeah. um, and all kinds of ways. So blues, core motive is intimacy. So they are very emotional. Into me, I see. Into me, I see. And natural talents is quality and service. Yeah. And then the last color. Whites. So these are actually quite rare. They're a rare sort yeah, of they're a rare breed. trait, personality trait as well. So um, whites have, can be, um, well, hang on, back on my other. So I do have notes that we're referring to here yes, as well. Yes, we didn't want to get this wrong. Yeah, and I didn't want it to be kind of just like, eh, just like. A bit above it up. Yeah, yeah. Um, so they're peace-centered. So a great example of someone, if we had a pictures on the wall, for a white would be someone like Gandhi. Yes. Okay. Actually, we can, so to give you, ex yeah, famous examples. So, uh, but what is their natural talents? Uh, clarity, tolerance. Yeah. Yeah. So red, a uh, great example is a Barack Obama or an Oprah. I don't know if Barack Obama yeah, would it was. be. Okay, would be. It was. Like that. Look, then the same chance Donald Trump would be a red Barack Obama. So people in high positions levels of, of power, power and leadership. Yeah. Um, Blue, I can't remember. Uh, Blue would be someone like your Mother Teresa, maybe. Well, that was she no, she was more, white. She was more white. White was um, Mother Teresa Gandhi. I remember yellow was, of course, Jim, Jim Carrey. Carrey. Like Will Smith, that type of personality. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I mean, power, power, I mean, so another red would be maybe someone like Elon Musk. Yes, definitely. Um, look at it. I'm a red comparing myself to all these people. <laughs> um, blue. So who was a good example of the blue? Uh, who can we use as a blue? Someone who's emotional. Um, would Oprah be a blue? No, she was red. She was red. Okay. Uh, oh no, she was blue. Yeah, she's blue. That's what uh, I thought. I've got some here. Disney. Walt, Walt Disney. Disney was blue. Oprah was blue. Apparently he had a real potty mouth and he always had a cigarette in his hand. So if you apparently... Who? Walt Disney, right? Yeah, yeah. So what they've done back in the... Babe, there is a penis on the front cover of The Little Mermaid. Yeah, I don't think he put that there because he was still, probably dead. But there's dicks, there's dicks all through Disney. Look there it are up. dicks all through Disney. Yeah, you might want to check it out before you let your kids watch it. Yeah. Um, but no, there's photos of him pointing like this. That's yes. because he always had a cigarette in his hand and the people at Disney have oh. it, photoshopped it out. So he's always... Pointing. Oh! Oh, that's mm. so funny. Sorry, if you're watching, he's like yeah, pointing point, point, point point with two figures. Like that, fingers. Like it, yeah. Okay, so red, blue, white, yellow. Now, to give you a really good example of what this would, how this would make manifest in a um, team situation, or mm. say, we're gonna, I'm going to do one for network marketing, and I'll do one in a boardroom. So, yeah. say you are, you have a business or a family. So, if you know your like, so you can do this test. By the way, it's free. Um, at colorcode.com. That's where yep. we've always gotten all of our team to do their color How long codes. does it take? It's like a 40 oh, like, minute, no, it's not 40 no. questions, sorry, 40 questions. Yeah, it's super quick. Yeah. And it's it's not like, don't try and outsmart it. It's yeah, not about just that. Just be it's honest Just be it. honest and literally like, it's not a psychological thing. It's like, just tell the truth. Um, 
So red, blue, white, yellow. So if in, in a family setting, you're straight away, now that we've settled that, you're, you're like, going to oh, be like, oh you're my gosh, straight away, family my husband together. is a red and, yeah. or oh my gosh, my little boy is a blue. Yeah. So if you're a red and you've got like a blue mother-in-law, that you're a red and you're a male with a blue mother-in-law, you're probably like, this all <laughs> makes sense now. <laughs> well, my, <laughs> well mom, mom would definitely be white. Yeah. So, um, okay, so let's go, actually, let me, let's do this first. So let's do red strength. So let's do all the colors, strengths and limitations. So you can start to identify yourself as like the kind of area that you might be in before we yeah. keep going. So you go red because you're red. red. Okay, so some strengths. Um, are we, we're going to do both uh, strengths and limitations. Yep. Yeah, okay. So strengths uh, that you'll find common practice for a red are things like uh, they're very assertive, goal orientated. They kind of, they get what they want or else. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're a leader, they're focused and uh, overtly confident. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, when you think about like people in leadership positions, even at your work, a lot of them are reds. And that's because also they they tend to be less agreeable. So they're more likely to uh, bargain better in things like pay, you know, remuneration yeah, discussions. And, 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 and promotions. Like, and promotions let's, and things like let's that. Let's pause it quickly though and say that a big thing that I am big on is not tying yourself too much to the identity either. So, I mean, I've introduced yeah, this to some be, people. You're meant to be a, a splattering exactly. of colours, but you're going to be predominantly more one you're, than the other. You're going to be predominantly. Now, I've introduced this to some people that, and it becomes obsessive. They yeah. love it so much and then but it's it almost becomes, you tie your um, identity so much to it that yeah. it's you then think that you could never play a, a you know, oh, well, I, I'll never be in a leadership role because I'm the such I, a blue. The idea of this is Which to, isn't the truth. Yeah, is to understand all of these so you can grow into the areas that you're less of in others and understand people and how to motivate exactly. them and stuff like that. Also, reds, when we talk about this sort of stuff, if you're listening and go, yeah, that's me, that's not an excuse for you to be an asshole. Because <laughs> you go, I'm just a red. It's just who I am. I take no prisoners and do all this other bullshit. Yeah. That's not the case as, case either, all right? So, Narrator. Yeah. And Morgan needs to listen to his own and advice. Advice. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes. But what I would say as well, so as a leader and you are all leaders, you lead your households, you lead sports teams, you lead maybe network marketing businesses, you lead um, households. I think I've already said that. You might be a boss. The idea is that you do, you step into and become, it's not even become all the colors. You're predominantly going to be one, but be able to manage and lead and be okay with others. So I'm a yellow, yeah. but I can lead very strongly all the colors. Yeah. And that is one of my strengths, but that isn't, that isn't a color thing. That is recognizing the colors and, and being able to lead them. So yeah. I know how to talk to a red and motivate a red, a yellow, a blue and a white. And yeah. that's the power. Not being like, well, I'm a blue and I'm emotional. So I just can't be around reds. No, you can. And that's the dance of life. So, um, so let's just talk about just quickly just the limita- limitations. Oh, I didn't even didn't. touch on the limitations. Pardon. So uh, reds are perfect. There are none. So off we go. Off right. we go. <laughs> um, uh, reds can come across as quite arrogant um, yep. because they could be quite abrupt, relentless. Uh, again, you may be some of these things and not all these. I'm reading yeah. some of these. I'm like, look, these are some of me. Some of them I'm not. Again, maybe that's just me being arrogant as a red. I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> um, Bossy. Uh, reds can be quite demanding as far as the expectations that they say. place on yeah. other people, which is probably why they get frustrated with some of the other color personalities. He uh, says as he looks at me. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, when Ada talks about her, she's just got to talk for too long and it's got to, it's got to irk me. Um Overly aggressive as well, I think, can be uh, a trait of and a negative trait uh, for red type personalities, and all always right or always having to be right, even when they're wrong. Mm. Uh, definitely something that I've struggled with in the past, and it's being aware of this type of thing has helped me. But I think that's also steeped in the fact, as a red, you like facts, stats, figures. So yeah. when you look at fact, and we butt heads, not butt heads, but this is where we can differ so much, yeah. is that you like fat stacks. Fat stacks. <laughs> <laughs> Cash money, yo. Yeah. <laughs> no, facts, stats, and figures. Yeah. But your facts, stats, and figures are right and not mine. But it's yeah. like, well, hang on. That, you know. Yeah, so. yours come from. No, no. Let us not go there. Facebook All right. Group. Yellow. <laughs> okay. So our strengths are a lot less uh, enthusiasm and creative. We're creative thinkers, which I think comes from enthusiasm. And our limitations definitely define yellows, but they don't need to. So we can be impulsive, obnoxious, disorganized, which this is where I absolutely don't align at all. I am literally the most psychotically organized person on the planet um, and self-centered. 
which I definitely can be. So for my boundaries. So yeah, so they're the yellow. So you're very enthusiastic and you you know a yellow. So we're very playful. It can be silly. Literally always like the friend that's the you life never, of the party. You always know when there's a yellow in the room. Yeah. They're Let's, just... When we are, like we're louder, you know we're, yeah. we have fun, we're, we are generally always the life of the parties. And so when that happens, you can't, it's like you're impulsive. You, yeah. Yeah. And all those other things that flow. Okay. Yeah. Blue. Okay. Uh, blues. Again. So these, but the, the emotional uh, color trait. Uh, so they're deliberate in, in their intentions and what they do. Um, they always have people's, you know, they think they always have people's best intentions at, ha- at hand. Uh, very well mannered. They come across as very, very sincere. Uh, and you can tell they'll, they'll always take time to pause and look you in the eye and connect and... Mm. and Their sweethearts. Yeah. Um, quality orientated as well. So they, they're driven by how things make them feel. Rather, That's their biggest motivating yeah. factor. And yeah. they're obviously help, uh, wanting to help others, heart-centered. Um, th- th- what the limitations are or the negative things of the blue type personality is that they're overly sensitive. Mm-hmm. So they will take every single word and overanalyze it. And so imagine a red, this is so 80% of literally, I would say 80% of any conflict in a team in, I can speak from our own like team and be company blues and, is, blue, is between red, blues and reds, reds because yeah. reds are so assertive and action orientated and dirt and focused and raw and, yellows and just blues look, are just yellows like, just look busy. I just want to make, yeah, no, yellows <laughs> are off on a chair dancing, looking for the bar. Yeah. Um, this is all true. You're going to be laugh if you have, <laughs> now you're starting to get them over colors. You're going to be like, oh mm. my God. But no, but blue. So then when a red could come at a blue and go, well, I don't care. Like hurry up. I don't up. care like, how I, you feel. I asked for this. Yeah. And a, and a blue is like, you in their head or they'll say it. It's like, but I was just trying my best. It's facts versus feelings. Yeah. So whites. Now you guys are a rare breed. Very rare. And I think a lot of sometimes people will, I don't know. What I will say is this, just do the test online because I think yeah. a lot of people go, oh, I'm definitely white and then you can actually pigeonhole yourself quite a lot, which actually happened with you. Yeah, so for, I mean, I probably didn't want to admit that I was, you know, reds can be, when you start learning about reds, you think, geez, these guys are, these guys are fucking assholes, right? <laughs> I was like, I'm not an asshole, no, I'm a nice guy. not at all. Right? So I was like, even though a lot of the things tick boxes for me, I was like, that's definitely not me. And I was like, ah, oh, whites over here are chillers. Yeah, and, so you know, white strengths are objective. Yeah peaceful and inventive but they're ve- these whites are rarer than rock and horse shit yeah right they there's very very few of them and if you think about an organization or a team like ours i don't really know if Ooh, we, I, I don't, don't think we have any whites no our so in i can speak for network marketing within the profession of network marketing 80 percent is like blue yeah pretty much oh no not 80 the, the largest contingency because it's there's a lot of it's service based we like to help people yeah so a lot of blues in network marketing and then reds yellows and it, there's like i mean at events when david trains on this and we've got to get in our color areas whites there's like five out of 500 like yeah. they're super rare and then yeah. and three of them might be really wrong white you yeah. know Okay, so strengths, objective, peaceful, inventive, limitations, silently stubborn, which I think is why we were like, oh, Morgan's white because he's so stubborn. But that's just the Torian in you, I think. Yeah, I think as well, like it's it's like silently stubborn is they're not really, again, remember I talked the other day about I don't leave negative reviews? Mm-hmm. Like that, I think that was kind of that part of my personality made me think that I was probably white, you know, because when you're silently stubborn, you're just like, oh, well, if it's a shit experience, I'm not going to say anything, I'm but I'll never that. deal with them ever again. Yeah, yeah. Ever. <laughs> right? So that type No, that's, of, yeah. that's integrity also, living yeah. in your values and like boundaries too. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give you a really um, strong example of how to motivate each color mm. now if you want to inspire them to come along to an event. So if you're building a network marketing organization or you're a boss, like I said, or, you're maybe, or you like, have kids. You're coaching a local footy team. Yeah, like if you're, if you're a coach, if yeah. you have children and you know their color and get and like obviously as the parent, you're going to know them best yeah. so you can do it for them. Um, but here's how we explain it. So with reds, if I am trying to, and I do, this is my job, trying to encourage uh, a red to come along to something, to say come and, you know, 
Um, so I'm yellow. So what, what excites me about an event, say for our company, is I'm always like, oh my God, the parties. Like I'm so excited. There's like the best bar in, you know, yeah. blah, 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 blah. That, that's genuinely what motivates me. So what can happen as a leader is because that motivates you or a parent or yeah. a coach or a boss is that's what you project onto your team or your kids or your household or your whatever. Yeah. So you have to understand that different people are going to be motivated by different things. So for me, I don't talk to the Reds. I never tell Morgan about the boat party we plan and all these fun things. He just rocks up. Yeah. I tell him still to this day, he's like, well, what's in it for me? Essentially, he's such a Red. It's like, well, baby, you know, you're going to hear numbers. You're going to hear the the company position. So if you're um, a boss or the household, so it's like you're trying to inspire your kids to, I don't know, clean their room. Give them some freaking like motivate them. Be like, yeah. okay, if you get it done in five minutes, this will be your reward. Yeah. Because they're very driven and focused and it's like attention to detail. Yeah. Um, in network marketing, because I know so many network marketers listen to this. For me, I'll say, come along to this event and it's a truth because you're going to exactly what I just said. You're going to get company stats, facts, figures. Um, you're going to understand, you're going to see kind of behind the veil and just get more of a focus driven aspect of business and you're going to learn the systems and yeah. things like that so that's powerful red sure yellows you just tell them the bar, the bar is available i'm not get, morgan's laughing but it's and yellows like that are listening will be like Woo, it's yeah it's true. Like, when the work's done we get to go out drinking yeah it's like <laughs> it's true it's like if you can get through this event the party's tonight like there's gala like we, we're always like it's just the part i just say you just come along to this event because it's going to yeah, be so fun. much fun. fun so so much fun so as a yellow, I'm just thinking with kids, you would, well, core motive is fun as well. So you it's behave like, yourself, you can go play on some, exactly. that's kind of a lot of kids though. Yeah, but kids are young because they haven't been, the world hasn't shat on them yet, right? So they kind of have already, they're like a, almost like a blank spl- a slate and you'll see that a, they're a good spread of all these personality yeah. traits. Yeah. You're like, oh, when he's, yeah, when my son is, I don't know, feeling down, he's a blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Do you want to do whites? Do you remember whites? Uh, yeah, the positive, how to deal with the white? No, so like how to motivate them to like in a team, a child or in network marketing. Yeah, so, um, well, I haven't, to be fair, I haven't dealt systems. with a lot of whites. Yeah, systems so and processes. Systems. And, but red, red's also like that too. Yes, but they are more stats, facts, figures. Whereas what I've learned is whites are more Methodical. like come in. Yeah. It's not so much about the facts, stats, figures because they are more objective, right? Yeah. So it is more like come along because you're going to understand, you're going to get a deeper understanding for yourself yeah. how you want to do this. Yeah, whites are highly introverted. Yes, highly well. introverted and highly intelligent. Yeah, so they're going to be much better in a one-on-one situation as well. Yep. So obviously you, you can't coach a white type personality in a large group setting uh, or you're not going to get the best results uh, out of them in a large group setting, obviously because they are more intimate and connect better one on one. Yeah, so it's all about yeah. But I always say like you're gonna learn more about the system. Yeah, than the, yeah. And you, you know. uh, white people like to take time to mull things over. Really yeah. deep thinkers really um, just try and you know f- when we think about people like like Gandhi, they were highly philosophical, real deep thinkers. They like to. Think about the problem and all its moving parts and all its possible outcomes before they formulate any form of decision or take any action. Yeah. Okay. And then blues are my favorite. They're the simplest. It's like I always just, and it's the truth. Again, it's just speaking to their inner core. It's saying, come along because you're going to really understand the heartbeat. You're going to feel what this company and is all about. And you get to hug all the team and it's just all about feelings and emotions for them. Yeah. And that is literally, I mean, I know for our own business and network marketing, this is how we have still, still to this day, some of the biggest numbers for our little team. Yeah. Um, it's a big team, but coming along to the these events to because I do, it is, we make damn sure that we are absolutely truthfully and accurately though, understanding what motivates each of our personality types within the team and making sure that they see, uh, they're heard, seen and held and told what will actually motivate them to come along and it is the same ideology if you like i said are a parent if you like my siblings and i uh, i would say we could easily do this i'd say beth's white nate and i yellows i'd say zach is probably a blue and tim's a yellow 
So it's again, like within a family dynamic, it's understanding that as well. If you, like Morg said, if you're a coach of any form, if you uh, have a side hustle, it's understanding even your clients. Yeah. Um, and definitely if you were a boss, if I was a boss today and I had to bricks and mortar and manage staff, this would be like yeah. in the hiring process, you would have to do this test almost. Yeah. Like day one, just so I would know how to motivate you. Well, even if you're coming into a, like a fresh team. Absolutely. This is a good way to get to know your team as well. Okay. So that's just an example of how I motivate essentially yep. each color. Um, and now I want to talk about relationships. Ooh, relations. Ooh. So we're going to go through each of the colors. Yep. Uh, and talk about what's best. And these aren't necessarily inti- had a intimate relationships. Intimacy. We're, t- we're just talking about, well, they can be, but also just in general friendships and things like totally. that as well. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but, I mean, definitely very in- yeah. intimate. But this, be, this is kind of more interpersonal. Than, yeah, but yeah. like best friendships. Yeah. Um, yeah. Acquaintances, yeah. aunties, all the rest of it. Okay, so um, reds. I'll speak for myself here. <laughs> Speak, well, this is about how... I speak for all the red people. Yeah, I speak for the reds. So this is um, how if you are another colour, how you must communicate, communicate. to a red. Yeah. So you're speaking so, but, for the reds, but on behalf of the blues, whites, yellows. So at this point, you've done the colour code test yourself. Yep. You know what you are. Yep. Uh, and maybe from that, maybe you, you, know, you have a couple of friends do it as well, or, or you've got an idea kind of roughly of what they would be. Yep. If you want to get the most out of those people from a performance perspective or a relationship yeah. perspective, these are the things you're going to do, starting with a red. So again, if you come to talk to a red about an opportunity or a project or you know something that... Or even to manage a conflict. Yeah. So well, Yeah. In sales, you know, if you work in a sales environment, right? Or you guys have had a fight and your best Don't friends. Don't come uh, to a red driven purely by emotion. <laughs> And I, so I've learned. I will not this stand with, for it. Yeah, I have literally <laughs> learned this with Morgs that if I want to, I know if I'm emotional, I won't get through to him. Yeah. But if I can explain to him, and we've done this in the yeah. relationships podcast so as well. The, the thing is with the red, do your research. Yeah. Before you come and talk to them, because you need to have your facts and figures in order to answer the because they're the questions that they're going to ask you. Mm-hmm. We know what are the numbers, what are the facts, what are the figures, what's the research say, what's the data say. Whatever it is, right? You've got to know your topic yeah. before you go talk to a red as well. I love as well, it's, it's about like, and this is such a red thing, like presenting issues logically. logically. Yeah. Yeah, that's so big. If And that's where that emotion thing's come in. So, yeah. and guys, yeah, if when you're you have emotion, a boss... When, when you're emotional, you can't think logically. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I would actually say, so if you have uh, a boss, like... And obviously don't go to them and be like, hey, do this test. Like you'll know from what we've just explained in general, this alone could change the dynamic in your office in how, say you identified your boss. If you're blue or yellow and you're quite fun and loud and enthusiastic and sometimes can't get through or don't feel respected or listened to, it probably because your boss is a red. So if you do ever want to present an idea to them or ask for a pay rise, that's how you would do it. You'd pre- prepare yourself with the facts, stats and figures. Yeah. Um, present the issues logically. So present the ideas logically. Be direct, brief and specific. I think that's the most important. I've brief learned. is important. Um, and articulate your feelings clearly. So yeah. don't like... <gasps> it's yeah. like this is how I am feeling, which we've talked about. Yeah. Um, I think it's important as well. But, you know, with the red, they, they're assertive, but they also respect people who are assertive as well. Yeah. So if you're coming to have a conversation or whatever you're doing, um, you kind of also, you've got to demand without being overly assertive, um, their attention and their time and their focus. And, but obviously if you can do those other things like being prepared, knowing your topic um, before coming into the conversation, that's going to be much easier to then get that respect and that, and that time and that focus from them. Yeah. And now let's go into quickly, um, to have a to have an awesome relationship with a red, what you must not do. Yeah. So again, because because reds can be volatile, right? If we're you, making it. It sounds so bad. You guys are the best. No, no, they are. But again, but we're just we're just. It sounds crazy, but it's not. Again, reds are great because you know they they can steer a ship, mm-hmm. but they can also be volatile mm-hmm. as well. So 
um, in order to to have a positive experience with the red because we want to try and avoid having negative ones where we can yep um it's really important and this is something um that i think is is, is that reds i've seen reds do themselves but if you do it to them mm-hmm. it's a shit storm so you can't ever embarrass uh, a red type personality in front of others and i saw a lady we were both there at the ca- cafe oh. um in our local shopping center obviously a red type personality mm. she's the probably the, the lady who runs it or manages it but she was disciplining and scolding a young boy he's probably you know his first bloody job it made but me in front rage. of all the customers and the staff out on the floor and I was Poor like, you thing. could just see that ended and he walked off and you could tell he was like, broken. fuck, he was like, fuck this place. And this lady. <laughs> right? He was so, broken. And again, so, you know, with the, with the red, and I think just with people in general, right? This is a general rule. I give praise publicly, but discipline privately. Yeah. And the same with the red. Yeah. Um, okay. So if you're going to argue with them, argue from, no, don't argue from an emotional sure perspective. perspective. Yeah, which is a, what we're talking Argue about. from a logical cool. facts based Yeah perspective yeah um use an authoritarian approach so again being direct being assertive um is going to actually don't use an authoritarian approach so if you are my way or the highway with yeah. a red that is just They're like, like okay, that's like an unstoppable force moving an immovable object there's there's going to be no give or take there and they're not going to budge because they're also quite stubborn yeah um but also um using physical punishment like you know don't threaten a red with the uh, a violence because they're more likely to to respond or rise mm-hmm. uh, to a physical threat as well. Um, don't ex- mm, I like this one? Don't expect you must not expect a personal and intimate relationship. See, and again, like this is we have one of the most personal and intimate relationships yeah. I know. We're of the husband world. and wife. I yeah, this was, yeah, but you're still a red within the marriage. Yeah, yeah, totally. A red personality. So I, again, this is where I want to give you the, this beautiful dance where yeah. you don't have to be everyone, and yeah. the idea is that. As long as you do know your core motive and and have an idea of strengths and weaknesses of yeah. all colors, it is it's powerful. But yeah, and attacking. I mean, again, it's like you know, this other one is like attacking them personally. Like I think that's just a rule in life. I think it is a rule as well. I think if again, if we think about attacking someone personally, well, obviously there's an argument, and on the the moment you're in an argument or a debate, you would begin to attack someone personally. You've lost the argument anyway. Absolutely. Okay, so let's go into yellows. Yep. <laughs> I laugh because now I'm laughing as well. Because if you're a red, you're like, okay, I'm okay. I've lost interest now because you're yeah. going to talk about other people. Yeah, I don't give a shit about these other people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, basically. All right, okay. so yellows, um, you must. Okay, so for a positive relationship. Yeah, to have a really positive relationship with a yellow. Yeah. Take a positive, upbeat approach. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Super important. Offer praise and appreciation. Yeah. People, we we do like that. Um, you have to, you must accept, like we, we are very playful people. We yeah. are, I'm very playful. Um, so if you want a great relationship, you must accept that there's going to be some playful teasing or joking. Okay. So here, right here, we can see where there could be a conflict between yes. reds and yellows, right? Because mm-hmm. they like to make a few jokes and I've got that side of my personality too. And that's where as well, if you could, if I, and I've, I know this with you, I'd never do this, I've, but I wouldn't ever do this with anyone, but it's like, if you were to joke, right? So mm. I'd be joking. I'm a yellow. I'm being silly and I don't mean it. And I'm playful. And I say, I'd, I'd make a teasing joke about to say morgues yeah. in front of people. Yeah. That is like the epitome of what could blow up that. Yeah. Kaboom. Yeah. I feel like there's going to be a lot of people listening right now that is actually like, shit, oh. this, yes, this is the stuff that so comes up in our. So if I piss out of a red, I have to do it in private. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> no, I feel like What's there's the going to be some break, like <laughs> aha moments from like, yeah. re- like intimate relationships. Yeah, sure. Um, okay. You must encourage their verbal self-expression. So don't like, that's one thing that it's so funny. This is again, as a red, I'm already frustrated by the mere suggestion of this. I know because that's <laughs> what I was about to say. Like for me, I am, I can go off on tangents and Quite do all verbose. these things verbose and morgs will bring it back and he's like hey honey yeah. beginning middle end go tell enough it. tell yeah. the story and i'm like Rah! like just let me be so that's another perfect example um promote creativity and fun activity so this is a perfect example i am a yellow you your vibe attracts your tribe i know when we've built this beautiful thriving amazing team yeah. within that team culture this is a big thing as a leader just so you know so again coach parent um boss employee whatever you are friend 
for me, in our team environment, we create, we make sure that there's motivations for each color. But for yellows, I know I've got to have parties. And I also know that because... It's unfortunate but true. Like we went to Sydney. I remember, and you were so amazing. You were red. We went to Sydney and we hired out this... Oh, was it Sydney? Melbourne. And we hired out this massive house and like jammed it full of team. And we had a pajama party and yeah. you cooked them. You brought down to Melbourne. You flew in your slow cooker. Do you remember that I last do. year? I do. I had the best night of my life. We were in pajamas and we were Melbourne drinking. And and, yeah, oh my God, it was, it was so awesome. fun. But our te- the yellows in our team absolutely loved it. And you yeah. s- and it is so funny. Actually, I think Dale is a white. Like, and then, or Evan. Yeah. And I remember how, like, and it's, you'll see it. Like the yellows, we were the ones like pillow fighting and rambunctious and yeah. dancing and like, woo. And then like the reds were kind of in the kitchen all around the bench, like having chats. Yeah. It's just... You, People just kind of go off into their groups. Now you'll yeah. get it. Yeah. Like you'll start to understand and see the dynamics. Okay. So, but you've got to promote. So yellows, you must promote creativity and fun. Yeah. Um, and then you must not. You must not. We're going to go straight. Okay. There was a couple of other ones I was going to talk about for the yellows, but... Um, with a yellow, you can't be too serious or so like it, with criticism. Mm. It's kind of got to do the old compliment sandwich. You know, this is what <laughs> you're doing great. This yeah, this is what you're doing great. You suck at this, but I love what you did here. <laughs> 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 right. And guys, this is so important. Just think about this in your relationship. In uh, if you've got a, a child, a yellow child. If you've got, um, if like I said, if you are a boss, we've got some phenomenally successful people that listen to this podcast that do yeah. have big teams, like understanding this i mean i know for us it's how we lead and it's yeah. how we have so much success as leaders so yeah i think this other one as well you know you got to remember that yellows can be like energizer bunnies right but so the but the moment they have a dip in in energy or things like that people are like, what's wrong you just mm. got to understand like this happens sometimes for you i know because you're, you're such a high energy like individual that the moment that you're like just having a bit of a chill, people are like, what's wrong? Yeah. Got to remember that yellows need downtime too. Yeah. Thanks, um, so baby. when they're having downtime, it doesn't necessarily mean I mean, that they're spiraling into depression. They're just <laughs> recharging their batteries. <laughs> but I having said that as well, yeah. like yellows as well. So when we think of um, yellow type personalities, and we've seen this a lot, is, um, you know, people, so Robin Williams, classic yellow yes. type personality, but in the background, very unhappy as yeah. well. Um, so that can be sometimes a, a thing for yellows too, as on the outside, there's an expectation for them to always be this high energy, really super happy outgoing person where if they can't, if they can't pump the brakes and recharge, they can spiral as well. Absolutely. And uh, on that, so with that in mind, like another must not is to push them too intensely. Yeah. Because we push ourselves very like, intensely. Yeah, exactly. um, and it's so funny. So I feel like so many of you that know me that listen to this podcast, and this is most people in network marketing think I'm a red. Yeah. They're like, no, you are a red because I've had success. I'm driven. I'm focused. I'm all these things. But yeah. this is where I oh, I knew, I mean, I did the test. But it's, I am so motivated by play and yeah. fun yeah. and being social. And that's how I know innately I'm, a yellow. I'm yeah. like, oh my God, but I can't. And that's the thing. But, but I do push myself exceedingly intensely. Yeah. And so if I am then pushed, hey, like, it's like don't push me and don't this is such a big thing for yellows like i am very much like my life my way my boundaries yeah my rules like don't come at me if you tell me that i have to do something or push me it's like that's the red in you i think but that is definitely the red that's not yellow because this other one as well is 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 another um thing you need to be cautious of with yellows but it's, it's not but again it's not you right but you can't you have to give yellows um structure so if you take structure away from them or you give them too much autonomy it's just a shit show, right? Which is, yeah, which is a real, real yellow. I always say yeah. I'm, I'm actually orange. Like yeah. I'm, I think a lot of people listening I'm red to this yellow. now, the people who are just like super outgoing, kind of really funny, but they're just like <sighs> like a dog's breakfast. It's yeah. just shit everywhere, right? And this is like, I know David, the our mentor, he says like, he's like yellows at, at the event. He's like, yellows don't even know what the hell's going on right now. <laughs> like, and, it, and they laugh and they're like, yeah, that's me. What yeah. are we doing? Or like they're the ones that always lose their keys or they don't do spreadsheets. Whereas me, it's like, like I said, I'm psychotically organized. So last one, what can we say? Don't, I like this one. This is actually a really big one, I think. Don't classify them as just lightweight. So what I take that on as we are fun and playful and can be silly Mm. and like motivated by play. and People like being around yellows. Yeah, people love being around yellows. So, but often it's then like, when it gets down to the skinny or it's like when it comes down to business, it's like, 
often you would you'd and you don't mean to, but people can write a yellow off in the yeah. sense that it's like, oh, well, they're, he's the, just the, but they're the, the he's, fun he's, guy. He's, he's the, the funny yeah, one. Like, he's the or joker. He, she's just the life of the party. Yeah. She's not going to, she doesn't get a, ta- a seat at the table of like yeah. the boardroom. Because we need serious people. No, like we bring so much to that table. Yeah. So don't classify yellows. If you can remember way. to be at the table on time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Blues. Yes. Blues. What do, we must do. Oh, this is what I, what I need to probably focus do, on a bit more because I'm. Yes. Okay, so how do we get more out of a blue? Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I've got a couple of notes here. So, um, <laughs> yeah, allow them to collect their thoughts. Yeah, okay. So a red and it as well can, can obviously come in sometimes, uh, you know, at a 10-level energy, like a freight train, right? And, and obviously, reds can sometimes ambush blues just with, you yes. know what I mean? So you've got, if you want to get the most out of a blue and that's your type of personality or any type of personality, you need to give them time to gather themselves formulate their thoughts uh, and allow them to to come back with some sort of response. And let me explain it this way. And Morgz, you know this because you listen to my coach calls most days, all days. Mm. How I coach a red to how I coach a blue yeah, two is different things. black and white. Yeah. And Morgz will laugh. Like he's like, if you can't hear the other person on the phone, you'll kind of know who it is because, and it's not that I'm changing, it's that I know how to speak to get the most out of and motivate and make it okay for that particular personality type. So with a red, if they call me with, oh, Anna, like, you know, I'm struggling or like this is going on for me, or I'm like, just cut the shit. Yeah. Cut your excuses. You're better than that. Stop. Yeah. Like, why Why are you doing this? Like, you are better than this. Like, I'm going to call you on your bullshit. That's why you love me. Let's go. Yeah. Get it together. Come on. Yeah, but and, you can't. And they're like, oh my God, yes, queen. And then it's off and running. But a you can't blue. do that with a blue because you've got to take the sensitive approach. They quit. Yeah. It would end them. Which is, with, again, for a red working with a blue, to, for a red to have to take a sensitive approach, it's and challenging. Again, it's, and it's not that you are... So again, if this is your child, if this is your yeah. partner, if this yeah. is your best friend, if this is your... You know, you coach a team. If you're a boss, yeah, you have to... It, it makes you a better leader. It's it not does. about pandering. It's not about changing. It's, it's not about manipulating people no, as well. It's, it's about actually... Because if you can help... It's some, empathy. Yeah, but it's about helping them get the most out of themselves. Absolutely. So blue... That I will. So you must allow them to collect their thought, take a sensitive approach, demonstrate your sincerity um, and help them feel secure in the relationship. That is how I coach a blue. So yeah. they will call me. You were seen. You were heard. Hurt. Yeah, you were held. You were loved. I, I, yeah. I hear you. I feel you. Like if I said that to a red, they'd be like, what are you talking about, lady? What the hell, Anna? Like, what? Like, <laughs> I just want to know how the fuck I get to the next. Like, it's, but a blue, it matters to them. And that is their core motive. So to, to understand that and be empathetic towards it and allow them to talk yeah, and get upset and, and, and have their emotions be heard yeah. and then show that sincerity back and be kind and compassionate is super important. Yeah. Okay. So with a blue, what some things you shouldn't do though is obviously make oh them God. feel guilty. Because blues are already capable of doing that to themselves. That, and then, <laughs> exa- I was like, that is so key. I'm like, because yeah. they already do that enough because yeah. they're so focused on, on pleasing people. Like yeah. they have so much guilt. guilt so yeah. yeah, it will yeah. end the blue. Again, so if you're rude or abrupt um, with a blue, you, you, you're going to send them to therapy. Yeah. Because they're going to spend 10 years trying to understand why and how the, the, the emotional trauma that that causes them. And Mark said <laughs> this, like, this is when you got this. This is like probably two years ago. You did hear a coaching call and you were like, because he's a red, he's like, why would you not just tell them to boom, 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 boom? I said, baby, they are blue. If I had just done that, mm. I'm like, they, they would have quit. Yeah. Like, it's not that it would have caused therapy. Like, if I was rude and abrupt and bah, let's go, it's like, it would make them quit. Yeah, sure. And yeah. It, and so your kids, right? So this is where I say sometimes you're speaking Spanish and they're speaking German. Yeah. Is because of this. You might be a red parent and you might have like yellow or blue kids. Yeah. And it's like, so you being abrupt and bra and all the rest of it, if you actually just, you know, so yellows took more, an upbeat approach, which is hard for a red. I know yeah. that. I'm looking at morgues. A couple of drinks, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely our Not for the next 31 days Thanks to Dry July Dry July, let's go um, Yeah, okay So don't um, Be rude or abrupt Yep Don't Expect spontaneity mm. I think that's a big one Yeah So I love that again So as a yellow I love spontaneity yeah, I love this other one Don't abandon a blue 
I mean, if you talk about emotional trauma, abandon it's, abandonment's got to be up there. So I don't know uh, where you would have... I suppose on a project, maybe. I'm just thinking in a work environment. Yeah, totally, yeah, to which is perfect because it's re- relatable. Add it side of this as well. But if you like, okay, let's do this project together and I'll see you next week. Like, Bye. Be- <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know because then they'll start to get in their head and they overthink it and they're yeah. like, what have I done? Did I say something wrong? And again, like you can't expect them to bounce back quickly. Yeah. Once they've had like what I call like an episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I love? I'm I mock just, I mock the blues a bit, but I like red. them. I yeah. Like them. No, I'm just laughing because I think about it's just it's so funny when you watch this. So at like I said, at our big events when David Wood trains this and he coaches and again, if you want to know who the, that guy is, we did that podcast episode. I think it's six. Yeah, I think um, it was about five or six. He doesn't talk about this, but that you'll get an idea of who he is. But he'll put us in our colours, colours. not for long. Yeah. Because too many yellows together is chaos. Yeah. And it it's like it doesn't even mean to be, but it's like monkeys on a chair. It's like it is. All I was the, just literally. But when you talk and you're like giving blue shit to blues, I just think about them all sitting together. And yeah. David might play a video of meditation and they cry. Yeah. And they are all crying. It's like, let's just separate them. Yeah. Yellows are distracted on the toilet. Like Blues are all sitting there holding hands. Red's like, let's get this There's sh- like usually roll, show on the road. In a room of 2,000 people, there's usually three whites in the corner. Just like <laughs> trying to <laughs> Hating us all. Yeah, hating us all. Yeah. <laughs> like just, can we take some notes and move on? Yeah. And Red's, okay. Red's usually sitting there like, uh, is this show going to keep moving? Yeah, what's, exactly. What's, what's all this bullshit? Can someone tell the yellows to sit down, down? and yeah. shut Blue up? Blue, stop crying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Blues, yeah, don't abandon them. Um, and don't demand immediate action or quick verbal bantering. So like, and look, right, that's, that's the same thing as saying don't, um, what did we say before? Or do uh, do allow them to collect their thoughts. It's the, the opposite of that. So yeah. it's, they have to think, they have to feel, they have to make the decision based off of that. Yeah. So just thinking you're going to click your fingers and get that response or demand that action, no, it's going to hurt them, yeah. not help them. Yeah, which is all I think is going to hurt your own your own outcome as well. Yep. Okay, and last one, and we're, then we're going to wrap it up, but uh, what? White. What? White. White. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx, you can't talk for the rest of the podcast. Okay, it's now the Morgan Show. <laughs> 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 love that. All right. Okay, white. So you got to so to get uh, the most out of a white and and, and to have a positive relationship, uh, you got to accept and support that they're they're individuals and, and they yeah. value their individuality. So acknowledging yeah. that that's a, that's obviously a, a great step as well. Um, but creating a relaxed relaxed atmosphere because they're not emotional necessarily like blues, but they are they're chillers. Right? They're just like kind of just go with the flow while they're making their mind up about things and working out their course of action. Uh, but also can providing a comfortable, non-threatening in structure in which they can operate is for them as well. That's where they do their best work. And that's kind of where you were saying before, one-on-one is great. Yeah. Because threatening to a white is it, like, a all right, of, group. It could be a room full of strangers. Exactly. Yeah. And like group, like uncomfortable zone. Well, I mean, I know life yeah. begins at the end of it, but yeah. that is, so if you can, so if you have a white in your household or your team or yeah. your, if your boss is a white, which is very rare, very rare. Yeah. Um, yeah, they are better one to one. Yeah, absolutely. For okay, sure. uh, just be, gotta be open and direct as wherever possible as well, because they they are they're logical thinkers, similar to the Reds in that regard, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you can formulate a, a opinion and just little to no emotion as well, I think with the Whites is always a bit better too. Um, and look for the non non verbal cues. I think is the biggest it's, one. Do you know, can body I say lang- this? Body language. Hundred Body language. Language. Body language. <laughs> I love that song. Uh, no, I would say I do know there is one. I know one white in our team. I won't say, and they're beautiful. And that how I communicate and lead with that person. Mm. That's that's what I do the most. I look for their body language, and their yeah. they they do. It's innate for them that they kind of give you social cues, like. Very much so, because yeah. they are. They're just polite and and patient and yeah. kind. And whites are beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So he, and lastly, I'll do this one. Do hear them out. Listen quietly and carefully, which is my weakness. Yeah. Um, you not so much a red's weakness, but you guys are. You'd be like, can you get to the point? Yeah. If they're taking a while. Yeah. But they would have a phenomenal point. Point. Because they've thought they long just and take, hard they about it. They need their time to. To consider all angles and come to the best conclusion. Yeah. And they tend to do that silently and without 
thing over the top or anything like that. So it's it may look like they're not actually doing anything. Yeah, but they are because they're they big are internal thinkers, Big drive. thinkers, yeah. 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 All right. So what should we must not do? What should we must not do? Must not do. I don't even know <laughs> if that's a sentence. Um, be cruel or insensitive. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think the, obviously understanding their personality traits a bit better, you, you, you could make your own assumptions as to why that is. Um, but expect them to need um, much social interaction as well because yeah. they don't need a lot. So they're, they're the friend. They're quite happy with their own company because they're introverted. Yeah. And yeah, exactly. Lone wolf. Yeah. So they're, and they're the friend that you can't take offense if, if they don't, they don't want to hang out yeah. a lot. They yeah. don't, that's just not who they are yeah. and that's okay. But you've got to respect it as a friend or a partner or. Quite happy to sit home Saturday night with a cup of tea. <laughs> cup of tea. <laughs> yeah. Cup of tea. Okay. Do not be domineering or too intense. Yeah. So that's literally, so this is where I say, as a yellow, I learn, and my, who was the original boss? D- Dennis yep. in politics taught me this about myself. He's like, you know your volumes, he used to say. So yep. I know I'm a yellow and I can be crazy and very like, rah, but I know that, say with a white. Yeah. It's not about changing Gotta bring who it down I with, am. Yeah, but it's, it's yeah. not changing who you are and the fundamentals of what makes Anna, Anna. It's changing the level. It's changing, yeah, just, yeah. So that's a white, so you need to. Just turn the volume down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Stay a bit more chill. Um, do not force confrontation. That's a really big one. Yeah. I can see that. I, like how I would probably deal with confrontation with a with a white is via email. Yeah. Like succinct to the yeah. point, not aggressive or threatening. Yeah. And just like lo- logical, not statistical, but like logical, chilled, chilled, chilled. respectful. So whites, I think I've been thinking about well, the best way to describe a, a white is, you know, when someone says that person's an old soul. Mm. wisdom right and and methodical a bit and, and kind of calculating well let, and let's say this so as a white i mean i actually think we're making them sound amazing because they are all colors are amazing every yeah, yeah, personality yeah. all humans are amazing yeah um but the number one so in our company the no, number I don't think one all, all, all humans are amazing Can I just say that? <laughs> okay what about hitler true okay, okay. i'm just saying in general Genghis, oh, Genghis Khan. he wasn't a great guy he, he wasn't a great guy either yeah. Okay. So, we okay. could go all day. But we generalize on this podcast, so yeah. we continue. <laughs> Anything goes. <laughs> so I want to say, if you have, like I said, take if you're like, oh well, I'm I'm yellow, so I'm never gonna have success, or I'm a white, so oh my god, the number one, like the two probably most successful people that we literally know in our life, yeah. Jim Coover, co-founder of a multi-billion-dollar company, yeah. is a white, and Lynn, yeah, uh, number one income earner, like in our company, and yeah. it's millions of dollars a year, yeah, white. is a white. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. So this is where I just, I think it's so powerful to A, understand this, what this is, yeah. how it's beautiful science, it's awesome personality test, get to know your own color, Yeah. understand what motivates you, what drives you, your strengths, your weaknesses. Yeah. What was the name of the website again? Colorcode.com. Yeah. So you can head over there and, and you can... Uh, do the test yourself and find out what you are. And, and guys, and if you, if you yeah, comment on the podcast and yes, let us know what you are. Yes, we're going to put, actually, I will. I'll put a tile up in my grid. You but for can God's too. sake, keep it short. <laughs> <laughs> Don't keep it short. Have fun. Um, yeah, put, we're going to put a tile up and we would love for you to come and find it when you listen to this um, yeah. and comment your color. But also, if you listen and you share this, tag us because we would love to know your color. It's fun and it's it is awesome and it's funny because we'll probably laugh and go, "Oh, we yes. yeah, we knew you were. We knew you were that color." Sometimes we get shocked. Like, really? I know what. So yeah, guys, look, that's uh, that's it for today, though. Uh, we'll be back again soon with another another episode. Um, and again, we do have some guests. It's just trying to coordinate that with COVID and all this stuff because we prefer to have some people here. And, yes, and but also like we have a big expanding, thriving business that we are managing with this. And it's, yeah. it's fun and it's messy, but it's getting done. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye. Thanks so much for listening. And as always, we both hope you got something out of it that you can use to challenge your own status quo. And if you liked what you heard, it would mean so much to us if you shared this episode on your socials to help us get our podcast out in the world. Don't forget to tag us as well so we can thank you personally. And if you're loving the conversations, leaving a review on iTunes, simply by going to the podcast, scrolling down and clicking leave review, 
will help even more people find us too. And we would be so grateful. And until the next episode, we will always be cheering on your success.